Hi lovelies, how's it going? What's cooking? What's been going on? Right, and then go into a reading to talk about if you could possibly be a witch or any type of mystic being. We're gonna see what kind of witchy power you have. What kind of witchy power does a Libra have? You have the temperance, so having that equal balance of your mindset and your heart and following that <laughs> energy, just having that, being able to move in moderation, not going too quickly, not going too slowly, just enjoying the moment of living day by day, taking one step at a time. It says let go of self-imposed limitations. So if you don't believe that you are a witch or you don't believe that you have the power to do what you want to do or manifest what you want to manifest, you need to let go of that and believe in yourself. That is the first step to gain your witchy power. The next one, I'm going to use the Witching Hour Oracle to see how you can embrace yourself as a mystic being. How can the Libras embrace themselves as a mystic being? Oh, before I got started, I got ahead of myself too quickly. But Libras are really, really good at being the love witches. They're good at love spells. They're good at knowing when two people will connect and fall in love. They can predict when someone's getting married and that sort of thing as well. Libras are the best at making love spells and healing spells if it's healing from a broken heart from a broken relationship. Um, and that sort of thing as well. You can also mend any broken heart. I really said your brain and make it. And then also Libras can also tend to be a grey witch. You know, a white witch is generally who only does good magic. A grey witch is someone who can mix a little bit of dark magic when it's needed, you know? When you're trying to get rid of a demon so to speak, right? Not that you're doing anything evil to someone, you know? <laughs> Keep that in mind as well. But we're gonna use the oracles from the witching hour to see how can the Libra embrace themselves as a mystic being? How can the Libras embrace themselves as a mystic being? Knowing, take the first step. That's how you embrace yourself, is take the first step and go after what you want to do. Whatever you want to seek, whatever you want to know about yourself, dig a little deeper. It says, don't wait until you're ready. Now it's the time to do so. Then we're going to check into how to practice. How can Libras practice their Wicca or their witchcraft or just being a mystic being? Ooh, the Seven of Cups. Things may be confusing. You may have too many offers. There's maybe you have so many talents you don't know where to start with and how to practice. Not every great option you're given will be a great option for you. So you really have to look into your roots. You have to look into your witchcraft. You know, some people will say, do this, do that, do that thing. And trying to do it all, you need to find yourself what you believe in. You know, if you believe in Buddha, then that is great. And that sort of energy. If you're more Celtic and believe in that, then there's also different types of Celtic. Are you a Scottish Celtic? Are you an Irish Celtic? Are you a European Celtic? There's so many different kinds. Are you just a pagan? Are you just embracing nature without being involved with any kind of religion? There's so many different kinds that you need to follow your own and see where that goes. The next one is how to gain your witchy knowledge. How can a Libra gain their witchy knowledge? How can a Libra gain their witchy knowledge? Says the Queen of Swords, don't you dare lower your voice for anyone. <laughs> The Gemini's got this card too in the exact same position. So I feel like this is for all your signs. The Gemini's, the Libras, don't you lower your voice. I did write the name of the song that, you know that song? I am my savage daughter. I will not cut my hair. I will not lower my voice. That card reminds me of that. <laughs> The next one is how can you be a service to others? The most important part about being a good witch is helping others and embracing them and lifting their spirits, right? Let's just see here. You've got the three of cups. Just like I said, you can build your own coven. You can help other people find their mystic being selves and embrace that. That is what I got for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this little witchy reading. I thought it'd be something fun since I did do a live this week about Halloween. And I just thought I'm just going to run with it and see what happens. But yeah. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget you can follow me live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The list gets pretty full pretty quickly, so try to come a little early if you want to get on the free list. <laughs> I also have members. If you want a member's reading, I do member Monday reading every second Monday. So if you want one of those, you can pick up a member's reading. Um, a membership for my channel and then you can have access to videos earlier than other people. You also have access to ask any questions as so far we've been doing long readings but you know they make it a little shorter the more members that we have so far we have i think four members so we're growing we're growing a little a little thing there we have a lot of fun people in the chat help each other out with the readings as well and giving their own spiritual advice so it's, it's a fun little group if you want to join that and check that out but yeah i feel like this video 
<laughs> Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.